case that front door was breached, I guess. Uh, three hatcheries up, and we'll see Lair is up, and it looks like Hydro is done down. So, but not upgrading Lurker Tech, interestingly enough. So going for, maybe this was a misclick, but going for Speed Lurker Attack as opposed to the uh, Lurker Tech, and this could be to throw Future off, and we might see additional hatcheries go down as soon as this is scouted. Uh, Future pushing out right now. Uh, it looks like an Overlord's already been taken out, I, th I think, by that Corsair. Yeah, that Corsair managed to catch that Overlord. Just had a little bit of hit points. Uh, that <laughs> that pylon is going to get taken down by IBH in the meantime. That's going to unpower those gateways and prevent uh, additional support. So Future going <laughs> to trying to micro this Dragoon against these three Zerglings, but sending up the a lot of Zealots, actually, to push down this front door. Two something Colonies uh, up on the way, as well as these Hydralisks. I think these Zealots might be able to do a run-by, and it looks like that Corsair going to run up and take out that Overlord in the middle of the map as well. Uh, the, <laughs> the Zergling's finally taken care of, but those gateways still unpowered. And it looks like, oh, the Sunken Colony's up just in time. Zelt's running up on the front door, but between those Hydralisks and uh, the, a little bit of their bumbling, actually, uh, running into a bit of trouble. And it looks like Future is supply capped as well after losing that, that Sun Colony. He's going to be able to take out, or losing that pylon, I should say. He's going to be able to take out both those Sunken Colonies, uh, but those Hydralisks should, additional Hydralisks and some Zerglings being produced, be able to do some damage here. And this is going to force more units to be produced for, uh, and it's going to lose that, might lose that Corsair to that, that Hydralisks. We'll see. Still might be able to get that Overlord down, though, with a suicide here. Send him even further back. Dragoon coming down as well, and Future being a little bit over uh, overly aggressive, I would say, able to take that Overlord out, and a counterattack coming up in the form of just three speed upgraded Zerglings. Let's see if these Zelts manage to get up on that front door. But uh, I would say that worked out a little bit better for Future than the opposite way, and it looks like Future's switching into a four gateway Zealot attack, uh, interestingly enough. So getting level level one weapons as well as the speed, uh, the leg enhancement, and this seems to be a popular build for him uh, as of late. The Zealots uh, firmly on that front door, providing uh, some protection here. But taking down those two Sultan colonies. He knows he's going up against three hatchery uh, Hydralisk at this stage, and he felt like he did enough damage to kind of push... Uh, IBH back, and I guess he's like, hey, you know what, I've I've got air control even with the single Corsair, uh, which is limping around <laughs> at this stage, still pretty highly damaged. Three kills, though, so Hero Corsair, it's done its job. More Zerglings pressing out just to make sure that additional expansions didn't go up somewhere else, so I think IBH is going to be able to sniff this out. He, he knows something's up. He, he, he's not sure if it's a push in tech or whether it's a uh, push otherwise and a Spire being put down, and if he gets his Spire up and uh, gets some Overlords and gets some Mutalisks, uh, again, Zealots versus, versus Mutalisks, not a very fair fight. Level 1, uh, the leg upgrade now finishing. We'll see if Future decides to attack as soon as that, uh, whether he's going to attack on that leg upgrade. Doesn't look like he's doing so. He's probably going to want to wait for that weapons 1, which is about halfway finished. He's also getting a Templar Archives up. So th maybe thinking about getting some Archons up. Yep, yeah, they're uh, getting, producing the two high Templar to get some Archons uh, to deal with any sort of, uh, make that his kind of air defense. And then push into a IBH at that stage. Single Zergling here at the 9 o'clock position just to kind of spot things out. Uh, that Corsair is still very battered. 12 health, managing to escape with its life, though. Uh, and 37 supply. <laughs> These games with the future tend to be very low supply. Uh, so 54 versus 37 at this stage. And uh, just a single Zergling once again running out in the field doing some spotting there. More pylons going down. No additional Corsairs being produced. And once we see that weapons 1 robotics facility, uh, interestingly enough, there's that Archon. I'm curious about this robotics facility. Maybe thinking about a Zealot drop. Uh, that would be absolutely nuts. So seeing a zealot drop in the back of the base, Future's kind of pushing his his luck here though, because this is oh maybe doing a dark templar drop, but uh, it's hard to tech and have four gateways and make them all uh, productive really. Uh, and that dark templar revealing itself by killing that circling in the front of the field though. And now we see some mules up, so really need that archon up uh, alongside those mules. Is going to have a field day if they manage to get into the main of Futures, because Future has no uh, anti mules defense. But these zealots running up are going to force uh, and looks like that archon trailing are going to force those Mulisks to stay at home base. And this could be uh, very damaging. Future actually might come away with this, depending on how he micros this. Uh, the Mulisks running up right now, that Archon's still training. Uh, training, yeah, they're going to have to run back to the warm embrace of their Archon brethren. Actually, no, it looks like they're going to back up. So Future's not going to press this attack, uh, and he's going to end up losing a couple of zealots. Once again, getting caught in the Zerg uh, transition. Now he's trying to bring that Archon up. The Archon actually still uh, cycling back down. So it uh, looks like he's going to take some free hits uh, from his, <laughs> his zealots to getting uh, attacked attacked freely here by these mutalisks and uh, he's not. He didn't manage. He didn't decide to switch around and try to engage the. And the mule is easily going to be able to take that cannon down. And decided not to have that archon push up uh, and take out things otherwise. And that archon. I'm not sure where that archon went. Dark Templar in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I assume that archon got taken out. It must have just suicided in. No, it's coming back to home base to try to help deal. And unfortunately, uh, Future's own archon creating a little of a, blo uh, a blockade there. Um, and now the mule is a little bit more mobile. A couple free hits going off. And this is where you want to spread your mule out rather than having them bunched up like this. Um, 
because uh, they take splash damage when they're grouping when they're grouped like this. But uh, IBH still able to get a lot of uh, hits on this Archon, kind of move them around, use the mobility uh, to his advantage, and use these gateways uh, to uh, Future's disadvantage. It's still not a lot of zealots up in Future now trying to take an expansion, but uh, has nothing really to defend it. And IBH has a good degree of map control. Uh, I was wondering if he's doing a slow drop there. It doesn't look like he's just moving his his overlords out there. It looks like. Still able to, to pick off a couple of zealots uh, here and there, and the Archon once again trying to come back and chase these Mutalisks off. He really needs another Archon out in the field, and uh, losing that earlier Archon really uh, did not work out for him. Shield battery now up to assist. It looks like to recharge that Archon up before it decides to go back out in the field. Um, yeah, but still going to have a hard time, again, because they can just... Ooh, able to get one Mutalisk right there and damn it and do a little bit of splash damage to the other ones but yeah I can still kind of uh, use that the, the map artifacts and wow beautiful Muta control from IBH uh, really being frustrating to Future right here this is usually something Future would be like no I'm supposed to do this to you not the other way around uh, I don't think he has any uh, storm upgrade that Archon should be fairly well protected by that cannon so at least he'll have another uh, another Archon up well maybe no it looks like IBH is going to be able to pick that Archon off as well uh, but losing another Mutalisk as a result but I mean, t getting a big degree of map control in the, in the meantime just massing up hydralisks uh, at this stage and future not doing a very good job of keeping up with his uh, with his macro on the opposite end a couple cannons going in the corner future thinking about trying to take a base finally able to uh, whittle oh, nope lost that archon I was about to say able to whittle the last of the mulisks off uh, and you can see those mulisks just having uh, the absolute day of their lives this is been a mutalisk field day. It's almost like a holiday for them. Uh, I'm not sure if we've seen a Psystorm upgrade for the uh, Templar to run up in Psystorm otherwise. Uh, Overlord, that was the Overlord that was uh, being used in that muta control running up and just zealots fleeing for their lives underneath these mutalisks who are just laughing, laughing in the skies and the, the zealots being run out into the field and <laughs> run for your lives. Cowards. Uh, and now the, expan the expansion going up but Future's not really going to be able to hold this, especially with these hydralisks bearing down. Those hydralisks are going to be able to uh, wipe this expansion out. A couple more, another mules going down, but uh, really doesn't make a difference. These uh, these poor zealots completely battered and confused, and a whole bunch of hydralisks now bearing down, uh, and not really a lot to deal with them. He has the weapon one upgraded, uh, speed upgraded zealots that uh, have are, are, have nothing for those mules that are providing defensive above. So he's going to lose this expansion. He's probably going to GG right there. So future uh, GGs. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, thank you for listening. Uh, poor future um, and poor zealots. Uh, yeah, thanks guys.